keeping it outside, outside Bell Fountain is waiting for temperatures to dip below 29 degrees for several consecutive days before they begin making snow. There's no date set. It all depends on Mother Nature. And we could be seeing those cold temperatures in the coming days, but it sounds like it's going to be really beautiful. Yeah, we have a little bit of some wet weather that moves in for your Sunday. It'll come in later in the day, gusty winds as well. And then, as you mentioned, we'll have some cold temperatures, mm -hmm. but not enough days that I think that they're going to get that snow machine working quite yet. That said, Mother Nature might bring a few uh, snow showers to the area uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday, so let's get to it. A look outside across the Miami Valley, and you can see that it is a quiet night for us from Salina to Troy, downtown Springfield, and Dayton. We have clear skies overhead now, but that will change by morning. We will likely see more cloud cover to start the day, and then clouds thicken. The wind and the rain will move in. We're 35 degrees right now in Dayton. We're at 29 in Troy, 32 in Bell Fountain, 32 in Greenville. Just tells you what a cold night we're expected to see as those numbers are going to be dropping down into the 20s everywhere by morning. Black Doppler 7 radars, we scan the skies for you. Nothing to track for us now. Clouds starting to nudge in from the north and filling in from the south as well. We see a warm front that comes in, starting to gather some moisture a little bit there down in Arkansas. And then eventually a cold front will make its way through. And that's what really brings us some more steady, heavy rain at times and those gusty winds. So here's future cast hour by hour for you. This is tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. We have a mostly cloudy sky. Still dry at that point in time. At midday, we have an overcast sky. A couple of sprinkles or some light drizzle may begin at that point in time. But it will be closer toward late afternoon and evening that we start to increase the chances for rain. Especially as you're up in the northwestern part of the Miami Valley. So if you're in Wapakoneta, Salina, Winchester, you'll notice some of those showers coming in later in the afternoon. The rest of us, Troy, Dayton, Springboro, Eden, you're still dry at least through dinner time. Then as we get toward 8, 9 o'clock, then we start to see more of the Miami Valley tapping in on some of that rain. And you'll notice as the rain moves through, there's these patches of yellow and orange on future casts indicating that rain is picking up a bit. And I also see some indications with the front as it comes on in. They even bring a few rumbles of thunder. Monday morning, 5 a.m., a good dosing of rain. So if you're someone that's out for the early morning commute, you're going to be dealing with some reduced visibility and some perhaps ponding on some roadways. 9 a.m., dry, and we'll stay dry for the rest of the day with some clearing skies. But it is going to be a windy one for us. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Rain totals, half an inch to an inch at most expected. We'll get that good dose of rain, mainly Sunday night, early Monday. So for tonight, we dropped to 28 degrees in the city. We will be colder than that outside of the city, down close to the mid-20s in a few areas. Tomorrow's an interesting day. We're going to be in the low 30s for the morning. We're going to be in the 40s for the afternoon and then climb into the upper 50s by tomorrow evening. So we just continue to warm into and through midnight. After that front passes through is when we start to see some cooler weather. So future cast for tomorrow, wind speeds, winds ramping up through the day. By the evening, when we start to see some of that steadier rain, we have wind gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour. Still gusty into Monday morning, but winds now out of the west and northwest. And right in the middle of Monday afternoon, we see some wind gusts 35 to 40. Might even have a couple of gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So sporadic power outage or two is possible. Also, if you have any holiday decorations outside on Monday, we want to make sure that they're tied down. Monday also is an interesting day. We start in the 40s and then we cool through the day. So when you talk about some cooler weather coming in and the winds, it will feel around 40 degrees at 7 a.m. Monday. It will feel like the upper 20s in the afternoon and then feeling like the teens by the time we get into Tuesday morning. So we're going to climb all day tomorrow and then drop all day on Monday into Tuesday. So rain around later Sunday, some rain and gusty winds Monday, mainly rain in the morning, dry, some snow showers into Tuesday night, early Wednesday, and then we'll wait for more rain at the end of the week. All right. Thank you, McCall. Well, three teams from the Midwest Athletic Conference headed to Camden today for the high school state championships. We'll tell you how they fared coming up after the break.